Hi there, my name is Mikey Babel. I'm a former top 30 WTA pro, played in 19 Grand Slams, and I'm super excited to bring you another training guide today from SpinShot Sports. Today we're gonna work on the backhand slice and specifically on how to take your racket back. And I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way, and I show you one way that I see a whole lot in club players that's gonna really limit your ability to slice. And of course, I'm also gonna show you how I use my spin shot ball machine to work on my backhand slice. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel for more of these training guides. And now let's get going. Take back on this slice. Use your left hand. If you're just using your right arm to take the racket back, you're not gonna get enough turn and you're not gonna create enough distance in which the racket can already travel. So you'll end up just punching forward here and that's not gonna give you anything on the ball and you're also losing control. So here's what you wanna do instead. Use your off hand, your non-dominant hand. For me, that's my left hand on the throat of the racket and it actively helps you bring the racket back so if you're facing me now, you should see the tip of the racket behind my head. It's that far that I wanna take the racket back. So I'm turning here and my left hand actively helps and that gives me a ways for the racket to already travel and when I'm then making contact, there is already something on the racket so I'm not just punching here. Another way that you can think about this is you want to create a box. So right here, I have four sides of a box. One, two, this is three, and here I'm creating the fourth. So take the racket all the way back and swing forward that way with a lot more acceleration on the racket already. Let us know down in the comments how you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned because we're gonna put out more of these training guides. See you then. <laughs>